Well, here we are once again. Ah, you, me, and something I received in the mail today. <clears throat> and it's what I was been waiting for for a while. It's the uh, <clears throat> original World War II J38 telegraph key. And amazing how people come up with different ways to pack stuff. This is an envelope, but they also it was a big envelope. But uh, I started opening it, but I <laughs> I never got to the, the rest of it. Okay, there's that. And we got that out of there. And this came actually came from a guy in Arkansas actually who had it. <clears throat> and it's on eBay, of course. And and we have packing stuff. Let's see if I can open that in. Wow. Well, at least the pack is good. It is awful old, so. Put it this way, it's older than me. Uh, uh, it is really in there. All right. Come on, you. And of course, a lot of tape was used. A ton of stuff. That part of it at all. See if I can just take it off. No? Let's see if I get the rest by hand. I don't know. Part of it. It is really taped up. See what I see first time here. <clears throat> you say, how come? I got the other J38s. Well, I have other keys, but I don't have anything in a collection that uh, is this old or original. There we go. Now, and that's it. That's what it looks like. And this thing has got stamps everywhere on it. The main one on the back says, I don't know if you can read that or not, it says 1944. Then the other thing you'll notice that stamp that's on the key itself, that was stamped in World War II. They did that with a lot of stuff. They were stamped with some kind of designation. <clears throat> Am I losing my voice again? I don't know why. Um, and also this base, that's a really thick Bakelite. That's a Bakelite case. And as you can see, it used to be coated with something. I think that's what that was. The reason it was stamped up here, this was a the jungle coating or the fungicide they put on it in case of it was in a damp area. So they do that in World War II. Uh, this is not the only thing I have from World War II. I have a uh, actually a, a Vibroplex bug that was made then. Made 1945. I cleaned it up a bit. 
try to get as much polish as I could without destroying <laughs> any of the parts. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that was this is a, a lightning bug, and that's what the model was made by Vibroplex in 1945. And uh, <clears throat> so. And then the other day I picked up a uh, another another one, but it was a new one. It, it was a copy, basically. But what I did on it was I took my old plastic key off. And that's what I had on it before. Yeah, sorry about the bouncing around there. This is what it had on there before. It was just a plastic key. And this is another a copy of a J38, same as the one I got there. And that's hooked to a code practice oscillator. And uh, so <clears throat> that's gone on that. And uh, so, yeah, it was expensive, of course. Not as expensive as some of the other stuff, though. I've seen so I was happy to pay the uh, well $59 plus the $8 shipping for it but uh, it's an original and there you are and yeah I got other stuff going on here oh I got this in the mail too yesterday this is testers paint for models and stuff. I don't actually, I didn't have any paint at all, actually. But it's useful for other stuff too, besides models. Um, also radios. Anyhow, that's gonna be it. I just wanted to show you that for today. And uh, talk to you guys later.